Downs International Speedway presents the toughest of challenges for drivers in the Pep Boys Indy Racing League. The ultra-quick high banks of the one-mile concrete oval make it the most physically demanding course on the IRL circuit. Ging, ging, ging. Two men who have tasted success at the Monster Mile are teammates Mark Dismore and Scott Sharp. The number eight Delphi Automotive Systems car went to victory lane with Sharp at the helm last year. Dismore scored his second pole of 1999 with a scorching 182.639 in the MCI World Tom number 28. And while these Kelly Racing stablemates share the front row for the MBNA Mid-Atlantic 200, they have little in common besides respect for each other and a love for racing. Back to the racetrack and the start of the MBNA Mid-Atlantic 200 from Dover Downs International Speedway. Flag, green flag. It will be Scott Sharp who takes the point early. They're already in turn two. And this is reminiscent of Texas when this was the same front row and Dismore woke up the point, but the pole did not lead a single lap. But right now, Scott Sharp has stretched it out. He has a good, strong lead with Greg Ray running at the number three spot. So the leader in turn number four has made contact with the outside wall in turn four. And Scott Sharp had led the first 35 laps, and suddenly it all went away. And Mark Dismore, off to a good start. Greg Ray right behind him. They're already in turn number two. And this could be a real battle, much like we saw with Mark Dismore and Scott Sharp. But right now, Mark Dismore is safely out in front. Here comes Wade, then Schmidt, then Harrington, then Greg. They're already in number three, heading toward the number four corner. Problem on the back straight bank. We have, we've got three cars. We've got a major crash back here. One of which is number, the number six car of LSAO Salazar. That car is just destroyed. So it uh, appears that at least two cars are involved in the incident on the back straight. LSAO Salazar and John Hollinsworth Jr. While first and second place, Mark Dismore and Greg Ray have pulled about three seconds ahead of the rest of the field. We have a furious battle for third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh, and they head off of turn number two. Greg is hanging on to that margin right now. Billy Boat right on his tail, and the battle, as you say, is literally a split second between those four automobiles battling for that third, fourth, fifth, and sixth position. Stephen Gregoire's Dick Simon team has given him the lead with 151 laps complete. Well, he's taking a huge risk. He and Sam Schmidt both stayed on the racetrack. They did not pit. They uh, they got to make their fuel last for around 70 laps, as you said earlier. That's that's a long way to go, even with the yellows. Stephen Gregoire has to take a look at an awful lot of lap traffic in front of him, and he will start to move around cars. Stephen Gregoire now will pull up on the rear wing oh. of Jacques Lazier, and we nearly had a problem in the back straight as Greg Ray comes through the field as well with Mark Dismore in tow. We have got some unbelievable dicey going on in front of us, but certainly right now the man of the hour is Stephen Gregoire. Oh, and Greg Ray is going to try to go underneath Stephen Gregoire in one. Where I'm standing, it almost looks like he's going down to the grass. So on lap 172, Greg Ray moves to the inside of Stephen Gregoire in turn one, and he takes the lead. And oh, he's so now we've got a problem. A contact. It is Mark Dismore and Stephen Gregoire on the front straight. Two cars running in the lead pack. They were running second and third. Stephen Gregoire and Mark Dismore on the inside wall. Two laps remain here in Dover Downs, the Monster Mile. Once again, it has been a difficult stop, but for the teams that remain out there, it has been one that they have appreciated. This has been a tactical race. It has been one where you've had to use your head. The guy out front, Greg Ray, has done just that. So we'll see the white flag this time. Brian Howard displaying the white flag to Greg Ray, who won just a few weeks ago at Pikes Peak, his first Pep Boys Indy Racing League event. And now it appears that Greg Ray will move to victory lane for the second time of his career. Greg Ray off of turn number four. Greg Ray will see the checkered flags, the twin checkers from Brian Howard. He wins at the Monster Mile. Buddy was here is second. Third place goes to Kenny Breck. Billy Bowen is fourth. Sam Smith is fifth. I was better in the last stage of the race than I was after the first 30 laps. So, you know, it's just like running, too. It takes the first 15 or 20 minutes to get into the groove. And once we got in the groove, we, this, this team did a great job. No! Award winners from Dover were Mark Dismore winning the PPG Pole Award. The Coors Light Pit Performance Award went to Greg Ray and Team Menard.
The Delphi Automotive Systems Leader at Halfway Award went to Mark Dismore. Greg Gray won the Firestone First at 99 Award. Mark Dismore also won the MBNA Lap Leader Award. And the MCI WorldCom Long Distance Award winner was Buddy Lazier.